Well, welcome back to an episode of We Are Again uh, in the Stone Garden, or still in this matter. And we are going to explore it a little bit more and go down a hatch and do some other interesting things. So, let's just explore this strange tower with all of its dead bodies around that have absolutely no. Really is a strange tower with all of its feet. Oh no, it's not. Okay. There's like three statues uh, around. Life, we are Earth's caretakers. In death, we are the skies. Hmm. Maybe we get some bread. Look at that. And some stairs. Again. Uh, what do we have here? Featherfall. Uh, let's go to Master Avon. The eagle oh. glows at you with one baleful eye. Hmm. Keep the eye firmly trained on the stringy morsels of rotting flesh dangling from its beak. You dare! You dare touch Master's gifts! No invitation! Leave now! Leave me and Master alone! Oi. What about the... that... Oh, okay, the dwarves can't be looted, they're just dead dead. The eagle glows at you with one... You dare! You dare! But I did just... Hmm, Master Avon. Can't do much with this dude now. Maybe the whole looting process just uh, made it even more complicated than it actually had to be. Right. Here lies an unknown farmhand. Not a dwarf, but of them. A smallish man of no small heart. Hmm. What's this? Hi. I found something. The plinth of the statue bears a series of deep, circular scratches upon its stone. The statue can be rotated. Hmm. Yeah, let's rotate this thing. You rotate it. at the sound of stone grating against stone. Yes. Let's rotate it a bit more. The statue rotates with little resistance. The statue rotates with little resistance. Okay. That one sounds really weird. What's this? The headless statue looms over you. It's good. Bears the same rotation scratches as its counterpart. Let's uh, repair it first. With the where's the headpiece when you need it? Come on. I need a stone head. Uh, there. Perfect. And it also applied the wings. Just seen it. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Now what? The plinth of a statue bears a st Ah, you have to rotate them this way. Okay. Too heavy. Of course. Ooh, high quality shadow essence. Nice. Good for crafting. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. So, why is my inventory full of stuff? And why can't I, like, pick up anything more? Hmm. Tons of things in here, and I do not know what weighs the most. Uh, okay, uh, let's sort it by weight. Or again, it's just the sheer amount of these things. Oh, firestorm grenades. Yes. I mean, I do want to keep those things around and for some certain situations, but the thing is, they just weigh a ton. I'm just carrying them around for absolutely no particular reason. That's not really helpful. Oh, bollocks. I just ate something. Um, What did I eat? What did I eat? What did I eat? What did I eat? I don't know. I do not know. Okay. This is the thing that happens usually when you try to, uh, yeah, open and uh, close the inventory. It's not fast enough, really. There needs to be an additional form of springiness to it. Okay. What about the map? It's actually really around the corner. Look at this. The black pets is just... Doot, 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 doot. He could just do this himself if he wanted to. Ah, look at that. The Stone Garden Graveyard. Now we got ourselves a teleporter, at least. Makes things easier. But the idea is to explore the area and not just um, move about. Also, the... Uh, Rain immediately stop once we leave the place. Quite interesting. What's this? Vilnix Creamer. Something. Almost sounds like a lizard name. But here. And we got. These are lizard remains. 
But in the human section of the graveyard, something's amiss. You lay your hand on the withered hmm. piece of remains. A chill caresses the back of your neck, and the breeze seems to carry an echoing moan. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, let's move this to Faye. So, Pauline Lacey lies here, burned in her bed, as in life, so in death. Hmm. Then we have our little teleportation statue. The air warms as you near the stone monument. The graveyard's death chill fades, leaving within you only hope and forgiveness. Hmm. Nice. <sighs> Free teleportation thingies. As it should be. So, let's pick this thing. And as usual, there's a new one that can lift it. Or, I at least let him lift it all the time. Because, I don't want anyone else to do it. <laughs> Arthur <sighs> Bree lies here. Sadly missed. By customers and family alike. Here lies Porphyria Swan. Died of shrieking hysteria. Let the gossips chatter. No matter. Here rests Timus Anchoret. Ever may he look out upon the woods he loved so dearly. A mind of this magnitude shouldn't be cursed to live like this. Can hmm. you? Can you dig me up? Okay, agree. But uh, tell him you don't want any funny business here. Don't worry. There's nothing funny about me. More not for Crispin, a simpleton's idea of a clever man, and a poor man's idea of a rich one. Oh, just leave me yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So let's seek this fella out. Let's see. That's an interesting quest. Never seen something like that before. Digging out an undead. The skeleton tries to brush the dirt from his clattering bones, then frowns. The moistest bits are still stuck in his cracks and crevices. Thanks. You're probably looking for a reward, but I haven't got much. Except, you know, the wisdom of the ages. Well, uh, that could help too. He pokes a finger against his ossified head. I'm a bit of a philosopher, you see. Not much else to be, what with all that thinking time. Hmm. Squint your eyes, he doesn't talk like any philosopher you've ever known yet. Are you questioning my intellect? You think you say more sooth than me? A verified soothsayer. Mm -hmm. The skeleton pauses and sighs, then straightens his spine with a clatter. A soul bond will settle it. A battle of wits. Then the cosmos itself will decide who can better face the truth of our own essence. Me or you. A weak soul may not survive the bond. But I'm sure you'll be just fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, how does he saying this battle could prove fatal to you? Yeah. Battle is dangerous, is it not? I find it to be true anyway, even when you're battling your own mortality. The angst can prove terminal to the weak willed. Hmm. And what is the soul bone? Oh, it's easy. We link up souls and share our innermost beliefs. Think of it like an innocent little duel. The winner remains comfortable with their personal truths. The loser, well... Hmm, well, a chance to show of this know-it-all accept the offer. Exactly. Let's see what happens. Oh, how fun. Just touch this bone on my ribcage here, right over where my heart would be, if, well, you know. You reach for the rib in question, but nothing feels different. Not until you try to pull your finger away and it remains glued to the bone. All right, mister. Deep thought. First up, our purpose in life. I say it's to accumulate knowledge. Pretty great answer, eh? Can you do better than that? Absolutely. Amassing anything in life doesn't do any good. His jaws clack together in a show of self-assurance. Hmm. Let's see. Reply that life's true purpose is to love others as passionately as you can. Well, this is again some... Stuff that was told to you, but anyway, say that your purpose in life is to make the most of every moment. Okay, that's very simple, uh, yet somewhat truthful. Uh, but the most of every moment is like, what exactly is that? Uh, it's like wishy washy stuff. State that there is no greater purpose than to banish life's tumult in the pursuit of pleasure. Mm. That is basically the same thing, 
um, because pleasure is kind of like the best in every moment. Uh, it's just a different kind of way of feeling it. Jester, uh, chuckle at his answer. Joy is the greatest of goods, and there is no higher meaning than to spread it far and wide. That is definitely a nice one. Uh, undead truck. Do your empty skull contain brains? How deep could these thoughts possibly be? <laughs> uh... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We could try the jester. I mean, we could also try the undead thing, but uh, let's go with the jester. A shattering shiver passes through the skeleton's body from toe to head, then back again. The cosmos agrees with you. Could it be, I don't know my own meaning? This emptiness. No matter. Surely you cannot best me again. Tell me, Sammy Smarty Pants, is there such thing as free will? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. The answer is no. <laughs> uh... I say no. The gods guide our every move. I dare you to outsmart me now. It's not the gods that have any guidance in there. Well, you could think of the gods as like the uh, embodiment of physical laws of nature, if you think about it, right? Um, so, say you're always free to do as you choose. Well, this is what we think. Um, but a machine also does the same thing. Um, but it's just not complicated enough. The more complicated it can be, the more stuff is there that can interfere with things and make it so that there's some little bit of wiggle room. But free? Not really. Uh, not your head. You actually agree you're just a pawn of higher deities? Uh, no. Uh, even the deities themselves may not actually be that free. So... That's... Still another thing. Say that our individual freedoms are limited only by physical limitations. We are free to act within a defined set of rules. Well, that is uh, true in a way, yes. The physical limitations could be anything. Um, bodily limitations or outer body limitations. Mystic. Reply that we are limited only by our imaginations. There are no outside bounds on where we might go, or where we might accomplish, or what we might accomplish. That's actually a really good one. We are only limited by our imaginations. This is... could be somewhat true. Yeah. Could be. Say that you're more curious about how the two of you manage to converse without voice boxes. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go with the mystic thing. How could I have been so simple when the truth is so vast? Well, I won't let you outshine me again. The skeleton hangs his head low, then yanks it upwards again. Is there a difference between right and wrong? The truth is that there is not. Only action and consequence. Oh, -ho! I got you there. Come on, just because you said it beforehand doesn't make you any more right than I would. So that you can easily distinguish between right and wrong, they are clearly different concepts. Uh, explain that some actions are moral or immoral, others are not easily defined. Well, that's the thing. Um, what is right or what is wrong depends on the morality aspect of it. So what's moral or immoral also has some kind of predefined... Um, way of sorting it, let's say. Um, but there's definitely some um, some kind of way of choosing what's right and what's wrong that you've just taken up as you grew older. But on an individual basis, there definitely is not, because every individual wants to have the best for themselves, so then the most moral or most right thing would be to... Uh, get the best for each individual in a way right um but then what that is kind of depends on the situation reply that morality is a river steered by the impulse of a man and woman gods and goddesses chance and nature why have i read this one before that's kind of weird say the only thing that seems wrong here is that the two of you can move yet possess no muscles or ligaments that is also something true but i'm going to go with number three you feel the bond break between your finger and the skeleton. You pull your hand quickly back to your side. 
I can't bear this, this existential agony. What have you? Hey, and this is how you banish an undead. Uh, it's called Crispin. Not that crisp. Mass corpse explosion. Ooh, look at that. Now we just need corpses in order to make the corpse explode massively. <laughs> oh, and we also need pyrokinetic for this to work. Explode all corpses around you, dealing physical damage in the area. It's also a very powerful other kind of skill. The only problem is that it needs necromancer. And, um, I... I mean, the damage themselves could be... What, what kind of damage is that? Dealing physical damage in the area. So it's a more necromancer sp spell, if anything. Like, necromancy spells are physical damaging. Um, but the, the, the explosion itself, because of its pyrokinetic... Uh, combination, should actually be magical. So this one would be a more necromancer kind of spell, if you think about it. But anyway, let's just move this. Uh, not in here, but in... Uh, there, somewhere. Where's the chain lightning, steam stuff, and this thing? Yes. Uh, didn't really get much out of it, but alright. So, what else is on the map? Uh, we can go down there, and down there, and then there is eternal fire. Yes. Wait, there's a claw, some nails, and a bucket. What is this thing doing here? Oh, yeah, wait. Let's just go around it, and then we can go... We can go in it. Another beehive with a little bit of nothing in it. Great. What is this? Strange elven bridge. Uh, kind of strange that there's like a lizard and an elven stuff right next to each other. Weird. Here lies David Cray. All shall lose the race with death. Here lies Jin Akana. Noted fencer, a near unblemished record. Here lies Maggie Sandini. Her body lies in cold embrace. Her soul went to another place. Interesting. An elven ancestor tree. Even I can't deny the beauty. Hmm. Look at that. Let's get them source points. There we go. Uh. Oh. Look at that. The roots of a great ancestor tree reach from deep underground to the surface above and beyond. But this tree feels tainted. Hmm. Let's reach into its spirit. You are a scion of the elves. The mother tree demands your blood. You do not have a choice. She has a plan, and you must serve her with your death. You heed your mother's wishes and take root. But then you hear a voice, a friendly whisper from beyond. The voice knows you. He understands you. He loves you. He offers you your freedom and asks but one small service in return. Grateful, you accept. In an instant, you are an elf once more, walking in the world. But your new friend begins to make demands. Small services, then larger and more often. They cause you pain. At last, he bids you guard your tree. He expects you shall have guests. You shall kill the Godwoken when they come. Then you shall be free. Interesting. The roots of a great ancestor. The thought occurs. The sign replaced one bad deal with another. Hmm, this is elven business, not mine. How very unfortunate for him. Yeah, in this world, you make your own luck, definitely. But it is unfortunate. No such thing as luck. Only self-earned success. Or as in this case, self-earned failure. Everyone's in charge of their own fate. Sounds to me like this incent has down the drain. To trade one's soul for immortality and then lose out on your prize? That is unfortunate. No matter the circumstances. Hmm. Alright. But, uh... Yeah. These roots don't go anywhere. You can't go upwards or downwards with it. Which is quite weird. Alrighty. So, then we got ourselves this thing here. 
What does this thing do? What is this memorial tablet? Oh wait, what is that? A stately knight. I feel safer in his presence. Mm -hmm. Heroes rest. Memorial to the saviors of Driftwood and the first of this region who joined Lucy and the Divine. They lie here as comrades forever, eschewing the burial customs of their own people so that they can stand guard even in death. This part is gated off from the rest. Whoever is buried here must have been important. Or oh, must be rich enough to afford gates. <laughs> here rests the human hero Garrick. He served Lucy and the Divine with immense skill and slew the necromancers who preyed upon the dead of Stone Garden Cemetery. The implements of his heroism shall rest at the site of his victory. Hmm. Implements of his heroism. Here rests the elven hero Halla. He served Lucy and the Divine with great vigor and defended the farmers who feed Reaper's Coast against pitiless bandits. The implements of his heroism shall rest at the site of his victory. Secret unlock. How do you unlock a secret? Here rests the lizard hero Vidya. She served Lucy and the Divine with great dignity and vanquished the strange beasts that arose from the primordial caverns of Reaper's Coast. The implements of her heroism shall rest at the site of her victory. Hmm. I would almost say that. Ah, look at that. Um, Bromley's buried valuables, uh, Halla's buried valuables, and Garrick's buried valuables, Vidya's buried valuables, and... Here rests the dwarven hero Bromley. She served Lucy and the Divine with honor, and cast out the demons that plagued the great woodlands. The implements of her heroism shall rest at the site of her victory. Suddenly, the earth churns and buckles upwards in several places. Something, some things, are trying to rise to the surface. God Woken, you must fall. The God King demands it. You must fall so that we may rise. You are dead. Stay silent. Let your blood quench our roots so we may grow. The covenant shall be fulfilled. Ha. Oh. Oh, bollocks. Please don't be strong. Okay, they have different amounts of um, resistances. Hala is actually the most even died of them. Then we have Garrick, which is easy to kill in... What does Sworn do? Character is Sworn to the God King. Um, that's great, but I have no idea how to get rid of that. Maybe I could use, uh, lose, use a Blessed. Let's save here. Alrighty, um, let's just try the blessing, and if that doesn't get rid of the sworn thing, nothing. Okay, uh, then we're just going to reload that. Good. I really have to test this blessing stuff. I think it's, yeah, you, you have to just test it out. That's the only thing that you can do, most like. Uh, but I think I have to go back to this graveyard uh, once I know how to look at uh, ghosts and stuff. So, what do we got? Uh, we got ourselves a bucket and a hammer. And yeah, this one is more focused on magical resistance. Uh, yeah, so Hala is the strongest out of all of them. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, I want to focus them. Huh, they are undead, right? That means bleeding is out of bollocks. Okay, so it's just fire that I could do. Um, the other way would be to perform this. Uh, go against the physical armor, which would be this dude right there. Uh, yeah, this is against physical armor. Let's try that. Bam. Works immediately. Now they're crippled. Uh, and then I can follow with some fire afterwards with another character. Then, um, I need to perform... Is there an undead character around that I could... No. Um, I could use the shackles. They go against the physical armor. In this case, yeah, that that was quite stupid. Um, quite stupid. Quite stupid. What kind of thing do I have that does some damage to them other than poison? 
Well, I could just put the poison uh, on the ground, maybe beneath Fane, so that this guy is going to not get himself killed. Uh, right. By the way, how does this poison wand work that I have? Creates a suffer. Oh, I can just throw it on the on the ground in front of me and make my own healing thing. Haha, <laughs> I'm good. So, uh, yeah, the beast. Uh, it's the beast's turn. The beast goes against physical or like anything really um but it would be best for him to do to fight the magics yes it would be best for him to fight the magic that's four um i could try this this is one and a normal attack followed by whatever i could just try to knock them down this way it's also against physical armor nah i'm just gonna get close to it and hit it and hope for the best bam Oh no, I actually, I was a wee bit stupid. Um, I go against physical and who do I attack? The one with the highest physical uh, armor, second highest. Yeah, same, I should have just attacked this dude. Uh, sometimes you're just so stupid, uh, it's unbelievable. Right, let's see, I could go with, um, no, I'm not going with AOE, I'm going with like this thing um, against this dude right behind me. And then, oh, that was so stupid. And then I'm going with, like, fire. Sadly, I'm also going to ignite this poison that's below me. Uh, but what else can I do? I could try the restoration, um, which goes against physical armor on this dude. Yes. Uh, to make it easier, focus down one enemy at a time. Or I could just focus down this dude immediately. How am I going to do that? Uh, who's the next one in the... Okay, this dude. Let's go against him. That should work. Nice. Oh, not so nice. High ground! Oh, that's a good idea. That is such a nice idea. Good high ground, good high ground, good high ground. So, this one doesn't have any... Oh, it's the beast that I was looking at. Uh, but it has enough health, I think. So, let's bounce. Can I do another attack at it? Uh, physical, maybe. Does it do enough damage? Yeah, I think so. Enemy has been vanquished. Next one. What? Oh my goodness. And I thought this fight would be simple. No, it's not. Um, it absolutely is not. Okay. Uh, who do I want to fortify? Uh, I want to fortify this dude. And I have to burn down uh, this one or this one. I don't quite know. Okay, let's stand there. What was that? Oh! A charm offensive, look at that. Source vampirism is cheap. Uh, hmm. I don't know how to fight them. That is definitely not cool. I need to get through their physical armor a little bit. That's like magical. Who's the next one on the line? This dude. Uh, I could try to burn the guy, but I need to deal just tons of damage. I could try... The, nah, this is just... This doesn't give me any physical stuff. This is against physical armor. He still has physical armor. I need to somehow get through the physical armor really quickly. That's 60-something damage. Hmm. All right, let's at least try this. There's no bleed there, um, but I think I can manage somehow. Right, um, and I can just... Yeah, when I try to attack, how does that work? Basic attack, like this. There, now I poison myself, perfect. No, there's more high ground, oh god no. Mm, 
not cool. Absolutely not cool. But okay, let's attack this dude. Hope for the best. Uh, I could try to cripple it at least. Maybe that works. You gotta be kidding me, I missed. That is just cheating. Alright, let's go supernova on those fellas. Oh no. So stupid. I am probably not able to defeat all of them. Because they just get their stuff back. Uh, what is this thing? Sworn. Sworn to the God King. Hmm. How do they attack you immediately afterwards? That is just so weird. Alright, what am I going to do with Thane? Thane has to move a little bit further. I uh, don't want him to burn. Yeah. Can't even move. Oh, come on. That was cheap. So, I have to go up there and attack the dude directly. I'm definitely not dealing enough damage to get through that. Yeah. There goes my main damage dealer. Great. Absolutely great. Maybe I really need to utilize the source attacks a bit more. I mean, they are powerful. Alright, that's four. Uh, okay, uh, if I try to attack them, there's just four thingies. And then who's the next one? It's the assassin. Well, I just go to assassin attack once, uh, and then the whole thing would backfire immediately. That's not good. Uh, what I have to do is, like, first... I have to get a resurrection scroll and get whom? I think I'm gonna go for Fane, because Fane is the most useful. And I'm gonna summon this guy uh, up there. Alright. And then I'm gonna move all the way up here too? No. Um, I have to move this way. Come on, Necrofire, please, 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 please. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 okay. I think the idea is to not attack them all at once, uh, but to attack them one at a time and to keep them weak uh, for longer or something like that. It would make sense, definitely. It would definitely make sense. Uh, can't reach destination, that's not good. I'll yield to none. Right. Then I'm going to increase my uh, shielding. Oh no. Right, that's me turn. The thing is, uh, is Garrick already maxed out? No, he's not maxed out. I mean, what I have to do is... Uh, ah, um, I have to defeat this fella somehow. Because this dude has the next turn, but this is, uh... How do I do this? I could... Oh, yeah, I can just throw it at them. Yeah, that should work. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Uh, is he oiled up? I don't know. Am I going for this AOE? No. I'm gonna go for that. There we go. But why does the charm not work? Away. Bollocks. Fence dead. Again! 
really need to do something about my survivability here. And there goes Hala. Oh, this is just so cheap. 600 health. Why do they always have so much bloody health? I mean, I have 800, but I still don't feel that powerful, to be honest. So how much is that? Uh, 45 something. All right, let's just burn this dude. And uh, keep the pot. Yeah, the thing is I can't. Let's just defeat this thing. There we go. Two additional action points. What else can I do? Drain da -da -da, magic armor from target and gain that amount for yourself. Yes. Is that the only thing that we can do here? How much magic armor would that? Uh, 130. Kind of like that much. Alright. Sadly, you need source for that. Let's go to the next. And another totem. Come on. Away. They cannot get up the the ladder, I think. Wouldn't really help. Oh no. Can't kill them with burning. That's just great. So, I need to do some physical damage, uh, AOE style, but I don't have that. So that means I'm just going to do this. Enemy's dead. So, one problem solved. Uh, I have two more action points. That's great. Uh, I need to get Fane somehow, but I can't. I get favorable winds. Can't reach that destination. The other way would be to get the blinding uh, radius thing and hope that it hits something. Ah, look at that. Oh, we are chicken. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Right. Um. This is so not helping. Hmm. Alright, need to fortify myself, it seems. There we go. And we got two more attacks. Uh, two more action points for the attack. Perfect. Ah, bollocks. I should have just used the uh, resurrection. That would have helped. But undead characters are always a wee bit iffy when it comes to resurrection. I'm so not going to survive that. Ah, come on. Yeah, I'm getting AOE stunned and whatnot. I mean, I can defeat them if I focus them down one uh, after another and not... Yeah, this is the idea. They were all far too powerful for far too long. That's something that you don't do. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, let's try this one. Hey, hey look at that. Uh, wait. It can be stunned now. That's good. Uh, this dude's turn is any moment now. But I think I have to resurrect someone. Let's see who I can actually target. The beast is still okay. I'm gonna resurrect me. And I'm gonna resurrect me where exactly? Uh... Up there? Yeah. I mean, I have to resurrect me somewhere, right? But at least then I could try to resurrect Fane. In the next turn or so. And I'm gonna stay right there. And another totem. The nice thing about execution is I can always get two action points by defeating this thing very easily. Right. Um... 
I need... Uh, this one doesn't make any poison ground, though. And I'm going to... Get another scroll, resurrect the guy. And resurrect him... Where exactly? I mean, I could resurrect him all the way up there. And you would be able to fire down uh, hell from there. And you might be really... Really safe, hopefully. So, let's see. Uh, do we get any corpses? Bromley, yes. Alright. So, who do I want to focus on? This one, uh, like that. With the magics. Wait a minute, if I do... Okay, so the laser goes this way, but it doesn't go down. That's great. That's really helpful. Uh, Supernova does have a way to hit them. Okay. But I think I should just use the uh, auto attacks against the thing, and then it could work. Problem is, it has poison in the offhand, and that could backfire. If I go with, like, fire and fire, I may deal even more damage altogether. But uh, let's just go with oil. Right, uh, then I just need to apply a lot of fire to it. There we go. That's burning. Oh, bollocks. I also have it. And it's back. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, I mean, it is some kind of a strategy, right? <laughs> um... Where's Fane's backpack when you need it? There we go. Yeah. Very iffy to uh, actually find it. There we go. So, resurrect. Uh, let's resurrect Fane. And let's resurrect Fane at maybe... I don't know. This location would be alright, but actually if I'm right next to Garrick, if I stand right next to me, then I could try to poison uh, the both of us somehow. Um, I... Yeah, I cannot use an attack though. Uh, that's iffy. That is iffy. Oh, wait. Uh, poison flasks also can't be thrown. That's great. I could uh, use the Shackles of Pain. And... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, the target is out of sight. You've got to be kidding me. All the time. That is so cheap. That is absolute cheap. This is just absolute cheap. Where's the chicken? Okay. Chicken is in safety. <laughs> Good. Uh, let's just keep this one. And we're dead. Not what I wanted. So, let's see... I could try to charge through here, maybe do a uh, phoenix dive. Get right inside the fire. Problem is, how do I... Yeah, this is uh, this is physical. Uh, it's definitely not good. I have to do something about this Hala fella. In this case, I could try the teleportation. Teleport someone up there. Someone that is... Uh, maybe... Healthy enough to fight this dude. In this case, it's only the Red Prince. Or, I am going to take this Garrick. Targets to fire, thank you. Okay, that's not working. Um, I could take the wooden statue here and throw it at this dude. Okay, it... Uh, I don't know if it really worked or not, but... Hmm. Uh, I have to use a healing potion for that. And then I could... Okay, charge doesn't work. Phoenix dive does work. Let's do that. Um, and we're going to... Cripple the target. But this is physical damage. That's not going to work. I'm just going to attack it normally and hope for the best. Uh... Yeah. 
Ooh, okay. And there is another totem. Oh, wait. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's throw down something down here. Uh, was decent amount of damage. And wait, who do does need good healing? This one. Uh, can I attack? Not really. Uh, should I run somewhere else? Probably. <laughs> uh, could I just stand there and maybe tank the occasional damaging hit? Yes. Uh, should I maybe try this one? Oh. How much is this? 120? Not enough. But he could get rid of the uh, armor there. Yeah, we're going to make some fire. I'm ready. Perfect. And there's the cursed stuff again. As long as he's going around, that means he's wasting an awful lot of movement. That's great. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I need to do something in order to get rid of the fire. <laughs> Shit. Um. Hmm. This could work. Uh, but no. How do I get rid of the Necrofire? Two turns of a lot of damage. How am I gonna do that? I could just kill this, get a few points back. Okay, uh, what about resurrection again? And where's Fane when you need him? Like every time you resurrect uh, people or like someone dies, the uh, order of the characters is always somewhat broken. It's never good. Hey, now it's me. And, uh, where do I want to be in the blood? Meh, not really. There's a lot of water. That could work. Alright, let's just get up here. Uh, I could try favorable winds, but to be honest, I have to get out of the necrofire really quickly. Um... But I can't. Oh, I can. Let's hope that we are not going... Oh, no. Huh. I can, but I also cannot. So, I need to use... Can I use a bucket of water? the beast. There. Oh, come on. I put a bucket of water out and it's not... Okay. Would have been a really cool thing, though. Really cool thing. But, of course, it's not. Right. Um... That is not in range. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, I mean, I could try this and hopefully it bounces. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. That's good. Uh, then I can run down here and attack it once. And that could work. On another note, I have to... Nah. I have to use this on the beast. There we go. Now it's fortified. And uh, where could I go? This way down there. Let's hope that this totem doesn't... Yeah, once this dude dies, then we are okay, I think. Let's just get more... Really? It's not working because we are uh, not positioned perfectly. Okay, now it could work. There we go. Ah, oh, so close, so close. So bloody close. Um, 
Have to get rid of the necrofire here though. I can't really bleed. I'm gonna make sure that this stops there. Uh ah that, this skill is so stupid. It does not make the blood appear all over the place. Ah, uh, come on. So stupid. This target is invalid. That's great. Um, I could use this one with a puddle. Maybe we can... Uh... Yeah, that could work. Okay, come on. Nice. Let's see, I have to heal myself really good now. Alright. Now, what can I do? Uh, I'm not going to attack this dude. I want to use Shackles of Pain in order to defend these other fellows. I'm gonna get myself some shield. Okay. Yeah. Ceiling thing is definitely a little bit iffy. Mm. But it could. The thing is, I cannot really charge there. Okay, I have to get... I have to stun this guy somehow. Uh, for how long? One turn. Mm. Target is blocked, yes. But I could also try to blind... Oh yes, blinding would work. Blinding would work. So I stand right here with like two action points and this is how much? Two, yes. With a little bit of luck it works. Let's hope that it does. Come on. Yes. Oh, but we are also... But nah, let's hope that we are not blinded. Nice. And we are chickens. Definitely not cool. And we are... Not dead. If you look at that. So, anyway. We are going for Shackles of Pain. Uh, because now it finally works. And uh, how do we defeat this thing now? Uh, we could not really make it bleed, though. This one poisons a target. I could try to video us out of sight. Thank you. Bromley could work. And let's just use the split thingy to do some physical damage to it. Um. This one sadly is uh, in the way, but I'm going to keep that one just in case. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to keep this one alive for a little bit longer. Ah, how am I going to do this? Um, I could do tremendous physical damage to it, but I have to stand perfectly in order to make that work. Mm. Like this way, I don't want to continue burning again, uh, it's just annoying. And um, actually I have to heal myself somehow. Actually, no, oh, that was so stupid. I could try to knock this dude down. How much health do I have? Enough. Okay. Let's try this. That was. I should have just started that from the beginning, and it wouldn't really be an issue. But no. Oh. All right. I, yeah, this is this kind of damage. I could just use the uh, ah, this poison there. Yeah, I can. Move someone there. I am going to resurrect Fane again. Uh, well, as. Fane is the fourth one. I don't want them to switch orders all the time. That makes no sense. Okay. And I'm going to resurrect him right next to me. 
There we go. Alright. I think that should be it. Okay, what am I gonna do with the beast though? Still shackles of pain. The beast has to heal himself somewhat. Uh, I think I can do that. Yeah, like it's like necro fire, and then it turns into normal fire, and it's still there. <laughs> oh, doesn't get any better. Right, I need potions. Oh wait, I can just ch chuck up uh, another one. There we go. Okay, we're good. So, this one uh, will get obliterated any moment. There we go. Uh, let's do some healing on... Of course, he's out of range. Yeah, thank you. you got to be kidding me. He cannot be healed because he's out of range. Okay, the other healing would be to use it as damaging uh, thing, but I'm not going to... I don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Try something. Try some funny business. Please don't get yourself some armor or anything. The beast is cursed. Right. Uh, how am I going to damage that thing now with that? That should do the trick. Uh, uh oh. Oh. It was out. Uh All right, all right, all right. That's not helpful. So I have to move uh, somewhat to the side, like this. Uh, and then I have to attack the ground where I'm standing on. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, now this dude is dead because he was running f too far away. I mean, it's one way for them to turn into chickens and be somewhat you, uh, well, useless uh, in terms of everything, basically. Uh, right, this one is burning. I think this one is dying. So what I can do is use another resurrection scroll. Uh, do I? Would I even need another resurrection scroll? Or could I try to defeat Garrick on my own now? I don't know. Um, but I don't want to find out. These resurrection scrolls are getting really, really, really intensive right now. So, let's see. Um, two action points. Well, this thing does 30-something damage, removes poison, removes everything, but at least the enemy is dead. Uh, let's do this. No more funny business. And do we have a good laser? Actually, no. We're going for vitality on this dude. And then I could try normal attack. Maybe this works. Who knows? <laughs> of course not. And we are burning. Yeah, if I'm burning, then I have to move sideways, but I can't. Right. Let's attack this once. Hopefully it's enough damage. Hmm. Not enough damage. Great. Uh, let's attack this once. Then it get hair. That was not what's supposed to happen. Okay, now Garrick comes back. Oh no, that's ooh, ooh, that's poison. Ooh, not cool. So not cool. All right, uh, I have to jump to uh, a look that's behind this guy, but I cannot. This dude has not as much physical uh, armor anymore, which is actually quite good. So let's just get up there. Oh boy. Attack it once. Now I'm gonna do that. And hopefully he stands exactly where... Exactly there. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Oh no. Oh, the hate. You're gonna be kidding me. I want to use skills and the enemy's right 
next to it. I mean, and it just does not, it just does not want to work. <laughs> oh, this gets ridiculous. All right. Let's just do some physical damage to it. Hope for the best. And I could do, yeah, Shackles of Pain. They are always good. And I could try to get another bloated thingy right up there. Oh, it moved. Look at that. Oh, no, it's in range. Oh, 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 it's in range. Okay, no, we're just going to attack it. Um, We're going to keep it there. Attack it normally. I'm not going to sacrifice any more of the teammates here. I have to be very careful what I'm doing. Um, and I... Let's get this favorable wins thingy going. Come on. Oh no. He teleported. He teleported me. That's not good. So we're going to... Uh, what is this? Physical? Yes. We're going to oil them up a little bit. Hmm. That's somewhat working. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Okay. Um, physical damage, physical damage, physical damage. Yeah, no, 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 no. The poison is still down there, though. Let's just apply the poison. Actually, now I'm full health. This makes no sense. Um, I can try to make it bleed, but bleeding doesn't really help. Oh, wait. Bleeding would help. But not in this case. Bleeding. Yep, yeah, wait a minute. Bleeding would help. <laughs> I don't, just don't have any more action points. Ah. Okay. Let's just see if that one works. And there we got it. Alright. One of the most hideous uh, kind of fights. <laughs> Jesus, a man, I wasted so many resurrection potion, uh, potion scrolls, uh, but I have to say using them in this way seems more, yeah, better than actually resurrecting your people uh, after a fight, right? <laughs> much, much more sensual. Uh, right. And there's, yeah, wait, there's, uh, there's Garrick with a nice ring. Sweet, sweet, sweet. There's my bucket of water, which uh, should actually go to the beast. And there's this dude, this dude, and did I did I miss some? Yeah, there's some normal items up there. What happened to the chicken? Uh, did it? Oh no! Oh, 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 uh... Where is that? Ah, they're up here! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness the chicken is safe. <laughs> Nothing happened to the chicken. Uh, and so Laura's also just chilling. Right, what do we got here? We got some nails. We got a bucket and all of these things. Won't take much longer and then I can't move anymore. So let's just manage uh, our things a bit properly. That fight was annoying. So, what do we got? Um, we got ourselves this thing that has to be identified. That's trash, that's trash. Both of those are the red prints. <laughs> I can just throw this. This is garbage. Uh, nice dagger, but I don't max up stuff. This one can go immediately to the Lady Vengeance, actually. Right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where's this other ring that I got? Hmm. Oh, wait, what's this? Warfare Arrow Thurge. Ooh. 
it is actually good. Okay. Uh, warfare. Well, we do lose one point. Wits, we also lose one point. But that is not that issue. We get ourselves decent resistances. So, let's get the cape. Um, that one, on the other hand, could go to the Lady Vengeance. Or can be sold. Or whatever. Actually, I could just sell it. I don't really have any use for it this time. So, then it goes, of course, to the lizard uh, that also sells the silverwares. Yes. And I have to make sure to craft some potions uh, at one point. Right. That one has to go to the Lady Vengeance because it's really heavy, but I can keep that for now. Uh, that one can be... Uh, it's a nice one, though, but it can be sold. No one uses finesse. Uh, that one can be sold, goes to the beast. That one is somewhat usable. What about this thing, the hedgehog? This was the previous shield that I exchanged, yes. And I don't have any use for it because the shield that I use is... Well, it's... <laughs> I, I don't want to get rid of the 10% additional block chance. That's the thing. Don't want to get rid of it. So, anyway, let's just sell this now. Uh, Red Prince. Good. And that one, we're going to keep walking about a little bit. Uh, now, what about this ring that I got? The decaying scroll can go into Fane's magical bag. That goes over here. And this one gets identified. That's identified as well. Initiative dodging. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. They are really good, actually. Really, really good. What about those pans? They are not as good. That one would break the set effect. Um, what about his pans? They are already better. Sneaky. Mm. Right. What about my pans? Right now, I don't really get any uh, positive effect. Like I have, uh, yeah, far too much resistance and it maxes out at 200 that's not good so we're going to wear this and uh, then the red prince has my set bag and we're gonna place the boots in here pants go in there and what about do i only have two of those i think so yeah looks like it good then what about this one huntsman and pyrokinetic in nice ring pyrokinetic is of course this guy and we would lose out on the restoration skill, which is so good. Maybe I should just learn this thing. Yeah, one point in uh, magics, get this thing uh, and be done with it. On the other hand, the healing spell is so useful. It's just unbelievable how useful this is. Let's move this to Fane, just in case. <laughs> uh, so I know that he is the one who is going to utilize that in the future. Right. Uh, this one goes to the beast because of crafting. Same. Same. Uh, same and same. Could be any invertebrate leg. Uh, really. Ugh, but it. Ooh, so, so, so nice values. All right. Good. Let's just open up our crafting uh, menu a little bit. Because I want to know how to make health potions. Not resistance potions. There we go. Healing potions. And they are sorted with like minor, major or whatever. They're not sorted by healing uh, properties first. Well, actually, we can... Oh, healing. Heal. I only have this minor healing potion. That's great. Uh, this is a penny bun mushroom and empty potion bottles. Great. Hmm. I would say that buying them would be the better solution. What kind of other potions do we have anyway? I mean, we got armor, physical and magical. Poison pot. Yeah, huh. Having an undead theme is a wee bit whiffy. What is this? Ooze barrel. Cool. Okay, you just put the ooze in the poison potion and then that's it. And you squeeze the shroom out into the potion thing. Or you turn a healing potion into a poisonous one. Which is an interesting way of doing this. Uh, but it, I think, gets rid of the the claw. 
And that's kind of stupid. Mine resist all potion. Yeah, that's good. Constitution potion. Yeah. Uh, I mean, alchemy is a nice kind of idea, but I don't have the ingredients. And once I'm in combat, I'm like, okay, uh, wouldn't it be better to, let's say, collect this and this and this and this. And then I'm just going all over the place collecting things. Garrick's Buried Valuables. What? Yeah, they are just around the corner. Unbelievable. One, two, three. And four is down there. Yes. I could just go out there. Go right here and pick them up. <laughs> oh, that is so ridiculous. Wait a minute. Uh, Eternal Fire. Uh, isn't Eternal Fire like a quest thing or something? Eternal Promise? Nah, that's not really it. Does that rise from their grace in Stone Garden? It's just that the covenant would be fulfilled here. Yeah. But I'm looking for the Eternal Fire. Or the Eternal Fire is just a nice place of interest. But usually red means uh, that you can do some kind of quest there or whatever. Right. Um, but what I want to do now um, is I want to finish this chicken quest because at one point it will annoy me that the chicken died accidentally and uh, I want to finish that right now. That means I have to go to Meister's house, learn this spell, finish the mission and then I'm going to focus on... Actually, this is pretty much explored already, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I should have talked to Tarkin, maybe. Hmm. Alrighty, let's just go to our little town. Uh, further and further north. I really need a teleporter in that town, if that's possible. That would be quite sweet. Wait, there's a tree trunk. Look at that. With an identifying glass, sure. No one needs these things anymore. Da -da -dee, da -da 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 oh, look at this. Source. Again. That's weird. Didn't I take the source with me? Does this stuff just regenerate? That's kind of weird. Huh. Hell no. You know what rain? Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, and then we just have to get across the bridge up here and do the quest. But we're going to do this in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe as usual, and uh, ta-ta!